Ever since Trust Art became number one for business trust videos about seven years ago, we've seen all kinds of business trust attorneys pop up like spring wildflowers. People ask me, well, James, are you an attorney? And my answer is, if I was, I wouldn't know how to do this. I've held professional licenses in the securities industry and also the real estate industry. And I've used these private trusts for high value assets in many of my own transactions over the years, dozens and dozens of transactions long before I ever did it for clients. Here's the problem. Trust law was removed from law schools and also the bar exam several decades ago here in the United States. Lawyers, attorneys, and judges, all they study are corporations and LLCs and partnerships. And if they did know about business trusts, they knew how to use them for private contracts, for anonymity, I never would have started Trust Art a dozen years ago. Now, something else you gotta watch out for, not only the legal people we're talking about here, but also so a bunch of business trust promoters. You're seeing those online. And they're saying, oh, you don't have to pay taxes, they're tax exempt, you can start a church, your special sections of the Internal Revenue Code. But to me, those guys are just scary. It's kind of like the Wizard of Oz. We're experts, but you know we're not gonna tell you who we are. So you gotta be careful about that. Here's what you can do with these guys, with these attorneys and also with these promoters. You can ask them some test questions. Some examples would be, what are trust naming conventions? What kind of names would you use for a business trust? Names you wouldn't use. What about your trustees? What kind of trust are you gonna get? And where's their domicile? Because there's pros and cons to different domiciles. What about the bank account? How are you gonna get that bank account? What kind of questions are gonna get asked of you? What kind of questions or what kind of answers do you need to know to get that account open? And what about like when you're gonna record a, a real estate deed, a grant deed or a warranty deed? What kind of language needs to go in that deed in order to give you that anonymity that you're trying to get? I mean, these are all important questions. And what I find is that most of these attorneys and most of these promoters are very shallow. They can talk the lingo, they can talk the buzzwords, but when it comes to actually putting it all together, they really don't have any depth. So it's difficult, if not impossible, to find a qualified legal professional. And some of these promoters are just downright scary. And that's exactly the reason I started Trust Art. You can see these people with a whole bunch of initials behind their name or these big titles, but that can really instill a false sense of confidence. So be very careful who you listen to. And in my book, there is nothing more dangerous than someone with confidence without competence. And subscribe now if you'd like to see more of these videos. My name is James. Reach out if we can help you. And our website is trustart.com.